We're going to take a look at harmonic oscillators, first starting to talk about bridges. This is the Rogue River Bridge. It has a nostalgic appearance. It's a modern bridge, but is nostalgic. Wanted to show how functional can also be cool. Doesn't have to be ugly. This is a view of the Rogue River. We're going to look at different views of the bridge, a boat launching ramp underneath the bridge, a jogging trail, and the jogging trail goes underneath the bridge. This is what I want to pay attention to for just a second. You'll see the um, beams underneath the bridge to prevent motion of the bridge deck. We'll see in a bit what happens when you don't have this kind of supporting understructure. This is the Sundial Bridge in Redding, California. Again, cool yet functional. Now I want to go to the picture that shows a supporting understructure on the Sundial Bridge as well. Cool. The supporting understructure is triangular rather than square like the Rogue River Bridge was. Still, all bridges need it. And the reason to ask is, why do they need it? We'll see in just a second. On November 7th, 1940, the 42 mile an hour winds picked up and started causing the Tacoma Narrows Bridge to start oscillating. Now the bridge was already nicknamed Galloping Gertie by the workers because it would sway so much. This was due to a practice called minimalist engineering at the time that a ribbon of road across the water is what we really needed. It turned out that this wasn't such a good idea because it allowed the bridge deck to start swaying. The wind lifted the bridge deck like an airfoil, caused it to lift, and then when it reached its critical angle, lift was lost, and it swung back to equilibrium and then past equilibrium to go negative again. And so this twisting motion was going on like crazy. There was a man who drove his car into the bridge earlier but couldn't get his car off. He didn't want to drive. He, he thought it was safer to walk across the bridge rather than to try to drive his car back off the bridge. He tried to get his poodle out of the car. The poodle wouldn't come, unfortunately. So the poodle failed to follow the master out of the car and to walk off the bridge and the car and the poodle went into Puget Sound. After this bridge disaster, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, Galloping Gertie, after this um, there was supporting understructure on bridges to to stiffen it to torsion, which is what what's going on, the twisting. Um, and that will lead us into our harmonic oscillator. Now most of the time when you have a harmonic oscillator friction will cause the oscillator just to settle down and um, stop oscillating. But sometimes you have a forcing function. In the Tacoma Narrows bridge case it was the wind which caused the forces and causes, caused the bridge to keep oscillating and keep the resonance got bigger and it failed. 